Hello once again, my dear viewers, to Infamous Animation, where garbage comes to life. Now, I'm not too big a fan of musicals. To me, several of the most famous musicals use their songs either as a vaguely interesting aside or as a chance to show off a singer's talent at the expense of killing the pacing of the story. The musicals that I find the most entertaining are the ones that have a good balance of song and normal dialogue, or have songs that offer exceptional insight onto the stories and character. Or, failing that, they keep the songs interesting and varied enough to make up for it. That said, one of the most popular musicals ever made is The King and I by Rodgers and Hammerstein. A large part of its success comes from the Oscar-winning film version starring Yul Brynner and Deborah Kerr, and in 1999 it fell to Warner Brothers to produce an animated version, with the animation duties split between Pentamedia Graphics, an Indian studio, and the studio of former Disney animator Richard Rich. Haha, <laughs> no. The finished product is, let's say, less than faithful to the original source. So much so that if I bother to point out all the differences, we'd be here for hours. So, let's get this over with. The King and I. We start off with a boat in a storm, and a boy trying to retrieve his pet monkey. Just run with it. The boy gets close and, is it just me, or does the monkey sound like a record scratching? The boy's mother pulls him aboard, and we zoom out to show that she's being watched by a man known as the Crawlahome, and his assistant, Master Little. Homework? Pub quizzes? <gasps> those little pink slips they give you when you're tardy? I hate those! Oh, Master Little Teeth, work of art. Oh, I get it, oh conniving one. No, you don't. No, I don't get it, you're right, but you go explain to me now, huh? My god, I haven't seen Asian caricatures this bad since World War II propaganda! I'll use this English school teacher to help me dethrone the king. I'll cleverly convince her that our king is a cruel, primitive, merciless barbarian! <laughs> yep, this is about as unsubtle as you can get. Oh, yeah, he knows magic too, and he uses it to summon a dragon to attack the boat. Can you see why I'm not gonna bother to point out all the changes? So even though the Crawler Home wants the school teacher there to pass judgment on the king, he tries to kill her anyways. Nice. And the school teacher, named Anne, decides that singing Whistling a Happy Tune is the best way to combat the dragon. How much of this movie have we watched so far? Oh god, my soul. Lucky for them, the singing works! Just run with it. They arrive into port and are greeted by Crawlahome and Ping Pong. Anne's son is told that he's allowed to keep his pet monkey. You took a tooth from me too? Your time will come, monkey. I know torture. We already knew that. At the palace, they are taken to the king's throne room, where another racist caricature presents a Burmese woman as a gift for the king. Tell the king what useful thing can you do. I... I... I can... Go on. Go on. I can read, your majesty. <gasps> Scandal! Who reads in the kitchen? Gar! Unleash the monkey! Monkey! Well, ah, oh, no, get off! Stop it! <gasps> Won't she? Wow! Wow! The king is happy to receive his guests, and he shows him his science lab demonstrating all that he is interested in about modern culture, including hot air balloon travel. Anne confronts the king with the matter of having been promised her own house outside the palace to stay in. The king decides to ignore her plea and keeps her inside the palace. Meanwhile, the eldest prince meets up with the servant girl and is immediately smitten with her and pretends not to be a prince in order to get closer to her. So let me get this straight. A deceitful sorcerer and his annoying sidekick are plotting to take over their king. 
A boy is always together with his mischievous monkey, and an offspring of the king pretends to be a member of the lower class, so that he can be with an actual member of the lower class in a romantic relationship. This is beginning to sound familiar. I wonder if it's because Aladdin! Arabian Dear Lord, is this how they plan to market a love story culture clash musical into a feature that kids would be interested in? The musical itself is already being truncated. Did they think a story about a woman trying to bring culture to another country sounds anything remotely like Aladdin? I mean, this is low. This is really, really low. So while Anne stops to look at a picture of her late husband, she spies the prince and the servant and decides to sing a little song. Wow. The sheer fail of their behavior completely upstages her lovely singing voice. At the Armory, we get to indulge in more hilarious comedy at the expense of Master Little. It's right now! Are you alright? Escape. Just escape. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Wow, what's this? Boom, oh, Chief. <gasps> Oh, you! And sometimes, why? What you looking at? You never seen man pinned to wall with six knives before? And that's how they plan to include comic relief in this movie, folks. By offending Asians everywhere. Anne goes to tell the king that she's leaving, but in a really slow scene. The children present themselves to her, and she has a change of heart. Meanwhile, the crawler home sends a letter to a British contact telling them that Anne is in danger. Anne decides to give a children a tour outside the palace walls to the tune of the famous Getting to Know You song. It would be a nice scene if they didn't constantly cut away to the monkey fighting Master Little. And when I say constantly, I mean every single little cut. The king is not happy that his children went outside the palace, and he and Anna get into another skiff about the house he promised her. The crawler home tries to commend the king, but is shrugged off. I think. Ow! Oh. He just got pussy whipped. Anna has a little row on her own, while the king gives a sacred family heirloom to the prince, who is denied the privilege of choosing his own wife. Exhausted at the resistance he is getting, the king goes to pray for guidance. The crawler home animates some stone statues, while the king sings, It's a Puzzlement. Again, this would have been a pretty nice sequence if they didn't focus on the panther fighting the statues, which are defeated, by the way, by the panther roaring so loud that it breaks the crawler home's concentration. The servant girl notices the pendant around the prince's neck, and is saddened that she has fallen for a forbidden man, but the prince eases her fears, and says that he still wants to be with her. Now, I have to give this movie credit. They finally got to a musical scene that isn't being disturbed by comedy relief. And while the part in the garden has some under-creative photography, they shift into fantasy mode that is truly beautiful and a joy to watch. But Master Asshole sees what's going on and goes off to report. Anna is called to the king to discuss the letter that was sent by the crawler home. And what have you decided to do about it? You guess what I will do. You gotta make biscuits! You gotta make biscuits! You gotta make biscuits! You gotta make biscuits! They plan a ball and a banquet for the upcoming British guests to prove that he is not a barbarian. They go off to pray. Oh, Buddha, give us the aid of your strength and your wisdom. Buddha, help Mrs. Anna to keep awake for scientific preparation of banquet. Oh, please let this movie stop sucking. A promise is a promise. Your head shall never be higher than mine. A promise! Hi, Floor! Make me a sandwich! 
Master Dumbass makes it to the Crawler home and tries to report his discovery. Where have you been? Making fruit salad? Take the mango out of your mouth! You've seen... what? Take the mango out of your mouth! The prince... <laughs> Whistling. <laughs> Nobody kisses me. Ever! Take the mango out of your mouth! He gave away the royal pendant. On the night of the banquet, things start off well. But once the crawler home starts hinting that the prince gave away the royal pendant, the king soon discovers it around the servant girl's neck. And then... Dishonor! Servant girl and prince! Forbidden! Dishonor! Dishonor! Do as custom demand! Your majesty! Whipped! Till death! <laughs> no! You cannot mean! Would be better if teacher understand this matter does not concern her! Outrageous! Your majesty, don't throw away all you've done. This girl hurt your vanity, but she didn't hurt your heart. If you do this, you... you... you haven't got a heart! Silence! I am king, as I was born to be! And I'm... <laughs> I don't know! And say I'm to be governed in my way, not your way! There is no barbarian worse than weak king! And I am strong king, do you hear? Strong! I cannot believe you do this! You will believe when you hear whip as you run down the hall! I'm not going to run! I'm going to stand right here and watch you! Every blow will cut into my heart and tell me who and what you are. Down, down, down! <laughs> Father, no! I beg you, silence! When did this movie suddenly decide to grow some balls? But of course the king doesn't do it and orders her to be sent back to Burma where she will be killed for dishonoring him. But the prince won't have it as he fights his way out with her and Anna's son. The crawler home uses magic to lead the group down a path of his choice. <laughs> Soon they fall in river, flow down, they get sucked into APOE, <laughs> and that is that. River? That looks like lava! Sadly, the servant girl falls in, and the prince goes after her. Things look dire when the king comes to the rescue in a hot air balloon, are you kidding me?! I hate happy endings. Seriously, this guy is Villains 101 here. He launches some fireworks at the balloon. Everyone but the king manages to jump into the river, and the crawler home is easily found out. They make it to the wreckage site where the king landed and find him dead. Wow, I, I didn't think that I should go for the original ending, but hey, credit where credit's due. Of course they didn't! While recovering, the king gives the prince some power to decree some new rules even though he isn't dead and therefore doesn't need to pass the rain on to anyone, but okay, whatever, we'll run with it. The prince does the usual imperialist improvements, like making books available to everyone, changing the bow to a more western bow, and allowing everyone to marry who they want. Were you really expecting anything else by now? We then see that the crawler home and Master Wang Chung get stuck shoveling this movie, uh, I mean, uh, elephant crap. And we finally end this movie with the king giving Anna her house and partaking in the famous Shall We Dance scene, lifted almost exactly from the live action movie, which, considering what I just sat through, is a wonderful decision. This movie is a good lesson on why you should choose your adaptation wisely. The original story is certainly one I would expect children to tire of quickly, but once you do try to adapt it for children's interests, it becomes pretty clear that it wasn't necessarily meant for them, and the attempts to do so piss off the people who might have thought an animated version would look pretty cool. Speaking of, the color design is bold and vibrant, and actually quite a joy to look at. And hey, most of the character animation is pretty good, and when they cut the crap and let it be a musical, it's actually not that bad a movie. But you're quickly brought back down to a world of cliché and story beats pulled right out of Aladdin. And I do give Daryl Hammond some credit. His timing and delivery is quite funny for Master Little, but so much of the character's comedy stems from his stereotypical appearance and accent, which makes it lose all integrity. 
This movie did so poorly and was so heavily criticized that the estates of Rodgers and Hammerstein refused to give the rights for another animated adaptation of their work anymore. Which is a shame, because this movie shows that a successful adaptation is possible so long as they don't dumb it down for little kids. I'm Shogun Gino, and this was Infamous Animation. Dad, we're watching it again! No, 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 no!